good evening. I'm here at Makati Diamond Residences with Carol here. Hi. Hindi ako masyado nag-event ng Thursday kasi coding, but because of this girl, I love this girl. So protect and is Carol to invite you for Meso Protect. Hi, hi there. Um, Meso Protect is the newest product of Meso Aesthetica brand from Barcelona, Spain. And this is the newest uh, sun protection range. And today is the launch of the Meso Protect. And I'm very thankful that a lot of uh, influencers and bloggers have attended the event. One of them is Joy. Of course, me. Shemper Naman, that's Carol. And or, uh, yeah, follow Meso Aesthetic PH. Or message us if you want to know where uh, where to get the Meso Protect range. Alright? Yeah. Thanks. So yeah, for more of Meso Protect and anything from EI Skin, please do visit my blog at triple W. Okay, uh, of Joy .com. <laughs> I have a lot of patients who are bloggers, okay, or more in the industry. And so when EI Skin actually asked me to introduce the Meso Protect line. I decided to just include a few slides, okay, to let you guys understand um, the difference between photo protection and sunblocks, okay? Sunblock is actually a marketing term that was actually first introduced when they first actually... You wanna interrupt me? You wanna ask me anything in the middle of the presentation if you can? Okay. Um, so the term, sometimes we use as a term because the sun is actually the object in our world or in the universe that actually emits the most rays that actually are harmful to the skin. So when a product was actually made to actually try to block these rays, they termed it sunblock. Okay? But nowadays, we cannot just call the product a sunblock because more often than not, when I have patients, they will ask me, Eh, Doctora, kung ka malalabas, hindi ko kailangan maglagay ng sunblock kasi hindi naman ako nakaarawan. Okay? Everybody speaks Tagalog. Yes. Except for Christina. <coughs> okay. Uh, so, okay. We're just to make sure. So, they, they, it, it's a misconception. Okay? It's not just the sun that emits the rays that can be harmful to the skin, but there are nowadays, in 2019, it has been proven that a lot of not only your gadgets, such as your smartphones, your computers, your TV, even if you're somebody that likes to cook, okay, your stove emits infrared rays which actually damage your skin in many different ways. The studies for microwaves are at the moment still being made, okay? And they'll be coming out with this published data to see how they actually damage the skin. So uh, the term that we like to use now instead of a sunblock is actually photo protection. Okay? So that it's the more appropriate term because whether you leave your home or not, you should be protecting your skin. Okay? Um, so, why do I need photo protection? Okay? There are many different kinds of rays. The rays that cause the pain, your sunburn, is something that happens anywhere between 6 to 24 hours from the time that you were exposed. So you're, you're out, you're having fun, you give them the banana boat, okay? You talk them is when you have enough melanin in your skin to actually produce pigment, okay? Now, why is it that we say that when you have a suntan, we know that you have overexposed? It's a way of the skin trying to protect itself. When you have more melanin or you have more color, you're able to actually prevent burning more. That's why patients that are fairer are people that have what we call a photo skin type 1 or 2 will burn 
in ten minutes that we can be beside. Whereas somebody that's like a young age, like me, which has like three to four, I can stand out there maybe for about an hour and I still don't get hurt. Regular photo protection and advanced photo protection. Advanced photo protection, despite having all of the ingredients to actually absorb, reflect, or block all of those rays, contain extra things for more specific concerns. So for example, if you have oily skin or you have acne, okay, your advanced photo protection product will contain extra ingredients to magnify the skin or to absorb the water. If your concern is that you have developed patches of pigmentation on the skin, because of all hormonal differences, being on oral contraception, getting pregnant, having fetus, okay, or polycystic ovarian syndrome. So you would want to apply a product that doesn't only protect your skin, but that will actually also lighten those problem areas. No? So this is what we're going to talk about a little bit today. We are actually dealing with advanced photo protection, okay? And this is what Mesoesthetic has actually developed in their Mesoprotect line, which is the most powerful object that gives rays off. But it's not just the sun. Fluorescent light has ultraviolet A, so I'm sure you're gonna go home now and look at it all of the light that's in you. The bathrooms are recommended for patients with combination to oily skin and for patients with sensitive skin. This has all of the protection. It has also your anti-aging collagen pro 47. And this is actually recommended for patients that have somewhat oily skin. I have super oily skin. Probably you can find it in my Facebook somewhere. But how uh, do you call this? It, it it's recommended for patients with acne, patients with seborrhea. Okay, um, that want to be able to apply products on their skin that won't make them feel so oily. The next product is actually what we call your light water anti-aging veil, usually for normal to combination skin. It also has your Pro Collagen 47, okay? But it doesn't give you that magnifying effect that the other one does. For skin, okay, for patients that have really dry skin or if you're traveling to winter, or if you're going to the North Pole or the South Pole, or my niece is a chef. She was a chef in the South Pole for three months. She lived in an igloo, okay? I, and um, you know, your skin actually really cracks and dries up. So Filipinos travel a lot. We don't like to stay put. Um, this is something that is really very good for patients that have very dry skin. But for patients that have oily skin, Okay, this is magnificent on your hands and on your feet. Okay, the one thing where you can actually, the one body part, the two body parts where you can actually tell the age of somebody nowadays in 2019 are your hands and your feet. I just have this thing about feet. Okay? <laughs> They'll tell you. My lectures on peels and hand rejuvenation and foot rejuvenation, I train a lot of doctors, okay, is the one thing that most people don't pay attention to. Yes. Okay? Right. Everybody can have their, you know, infrared, their high food, their peels, their toxins, their fillers, everywhere, okay? But they always forget the habits. But if you're going to put a product on, on an exposed body part, make sure that it has an SPF. So instead of putting lotion on your 
hands, on your legs, and on your arms. Put on photo protection. It's the best thing. It will hydrate you, but at the same time, it will also, how do you call this, protect your skin. And this preparation contains high doses of apocryl or your vitamin E, which is your biological filter. Major concern of all Filipinos. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, the pigment that you get on the cheeks is what we call multifactorial. Okay. That means that there are many factors that actually and uh, are responsible for the pigment. Mm -hmm. One of them is the fact that you are female. Okay. Hormones are one of the reasons why you end up with pigment here. Uh, UVA exposure, definitely, okay, visible light exposure, product, a lot of patients like to put a lot of product without applying photo protection afterwards and then they sit by the window and then they all get dirt. Mesoprotect has a product that's called the Menlan. it's an SPF 130. Its lightening agent is azelaic acid, and azelaic acid is a category B, as in boy, drug, which means that it's safe in pregnant and lactating mm. women, okay? So, yes, if you're pregnant, you can use it, okay? I have a lot of patients that come to see me who are pregnant, and they're like, oh, I know I'm supposed to sacrifice for nine months, but I don't want to look like this. Okay, go and see your dermatologist. Your dermatologist knows what you can and what you can't use. But the wonder thing about this is that everything is present already in one product. You don't have to layer on so much. Of course you should, okay? But if you're in a hurry, okay, if you're, you're pressed for time, you're not only applying photo protection, but you're applying something that will selectively lighten abnormal pigmentation on the skin. That is safe. This one has a little bit of a tint, okay? So when they first introduced this to me, I was a little bit worried because we um, <coughs> have all different racial backgrounds. You know, we, we span from what we call a prototype one, which is really, really fair, to a prototype six, which is really, really dark. And so, um, when we try it on many different colors, it blends in. Actually, it looks like there's no color at all, uh, once you blend it in. So, no, sorry, it doesn't look like a foundation. A lot of people are saying, the back, no. It, it's the reason why it was, um, filter that way with the color is that it will give a little bit of a veil to actually mask the color that you're trying to lighten. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I have to speak. This is really my favorite. They're all really good. I personally use all of them and prescribe all of them in my, in my clinic. But for me, this is, I know, I mean, let's call it the bomb. <laughs> it's, it's lit. It's lit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I am the but I learned from my nieces. Okay, and my young patients, I ask. Okay, so this is an SPF 100 stick. Okay, this was formulated for the two parts of the face that have the highest amount of basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma because these are the areas of the face where you never put photo protection. And that's your eyes and your lips. Okay? Which contain the thinnest skin in your entire body. Okay? So, it's like comparing chip chawag na baboy, okay? And fried chicken skin. Okay, your eyelids and your lips are the fried chicken skin. The rest of your face, okay, is the chichel from the pit. So you see the difference in thickness. But you never put a 
some love on your eyelids, do you? No. You never put a protection on your lips, okay? This was specifically formulated for that. It's ophthalmology tested. It, you can also lick it, and if you eat it, you won't die, okay? It's not toxic. But for those of you that engage in water sports, you know what I mean. If you put a sunblock or a photo protector on the skin, you jump in the water and you get out. Your eyes are all red and sticky because it's all dripping into your eyes. Yeah. So you're like, well, I don't put anymore because it's so hot there, I can't see anything. <laughs> you know, my, my whole day was ruined. Even if they put it just on the forehead, when you sweat, it drips into your eyes, it's painful. This one is not at all. Okay? It was really ophthalmologically tested. They really wanted to see if you sweat, if you run, if you swim. Okay? Um, it is water resistant. Okay? So it's great for our kind of climate and, you know, our bleaching you will have any water sports or if you sweat, if you jog, okay? And like I said, this is the area that we always forget. So if you notice with the line of products that we presented, this is truly already the next generation photo protection. It's really advanced photo protection and specific for different needs. The Mesoprotect line, and you can see how specific they are for the different body parts and the different needs of all of your skin. I'm sure that the distributor company here will provide you with, uh, how do you call this? <laughs> okay, so that's why the higher the SPF on the bottle, the better it is. Because if you apply 50% of that, then you'll be getting 50% of your SPF. Okay? If you apply 25%, then you'll be getting 25% of what 